Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sev and this is a brand new Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and we're taking on Boss Rush 6. This isn't my first time taking on this Boss Rush. I've done it at least three or four times by now and it's actually kind of the longest one. So I really just want to go ahead and jump into it and you guys can actually see the team that I'm running once we get into the Bardock event, okay? Um, actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and tell you right now. So I am taking my Realm of Gods team with my Rainbow UI Goku as my leader and a friend leader that's actually at 79%. I like doing these events just because it lets me kind of test how strong my teams are without having to waste really, a, you know, a crap ton of stamina, stamina, since we actually don't use any stamina at all. Um, so right now, just for the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, friend UI Goku in the last spot, and then I'm going to give Vegeta this one right here. Uh, I'm going to give Gogeta this one right here, and we'll just give Goku that one right there really don't need to waste a lot of orbs on this uh, part of the fight for Bardock because he should be dead either after Vegeta or after Gogeta. He shouldn't survive Gogeta, um, and if he does survive Gogeta, then we have our UI Goku to take him out. Vegeta should hit for about 500,000, maybe 600,000. Yeah, a little more than 500,000. Okay, that's what I was expecting. My Vegeta, I believe he's at 79% in the uh, orb system. So he has, you know, a ton of investment into him. He has uh, the upper left and bottom right uh, paths open, you know, which are the ones you should really, really be doing. You shouldn't do the middle ones. I've seen pictures of people actually doing the uh, middle paths for some reason, you know, the top right and uh, bottom left. Uh, that just makes no sense. Like, why are you going to not open up the best pass ever? I, I know you may not want to do it because you don't have the SA up to level 10, but still, put it there, and when you get into level 10 for a uh, super attack, you'll be ready to go, right? Okay, so I kind of wish I had my LR Vegito on this rotation just because we're doing a physical right now, but if we were to do this, give Vegeta all these AGL orbs right here, and then give Goku these ones right here, and we can just give our UI Goku uh, that one right there. I did move both of my UI Gokus, mine and my friend leaders off rotation just because it's like, I don't need, I don't need the friend one at this point because he is not 100% like mine is. He's really useful because I think he's at 79%. Um, I have to check his, I, haven't, I didn't actually check it before I started the video. But still, like, there's no point of having two UI Gokus on the same rotation. It just, it clogs up what can really work for you. Um, so if you have to get rid of one, I, I say go ahead and get rid of one. You know, no matter what kind of character it is or what unit it is. Okay, so I really definitely love this uh, Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku's animation. They literally took it from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie and put it into the game. And I also like that they made an effort to try to make the card's art look like the actual uh, art in the movie and the animation in the movie. It's not quite there, but it's really, really close, and it kind of brings a refresher uh, to the game when it comes to at least the art. Um, okay, so this is when I would have loved to have my strength units, both my LR Vegito. Actually, no, last last uh, rotation, you know, when we were doing with a uh, physical Super Saiyan Bardock, that's when I would have loved to have all these strength uh, units right here, but we don't. Uh, so let's go ahead and give our Super Saiyan Goku. Vegeta, I just want to call, call him Super Saiyan Goku. Their names are so close together, it's really, really easy to get their names mixed up. Um, so don't blame me if I get a couple names wrong here and there. And don't say I'm not a huge Dragon Ball fan. If you guys checked out my channel, I used to do Dragon Ball fanfics. I, I still kind of am doing them. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball. I've been a fan since, I believe, 98. I remember going to my first San Diego Comic-Con and meeting the original cast for Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, you know, Sean Schimmel, Chris Sabat, uh, um, and, you know, a few other people. I actually have a poster with all the signatures on there. Um, from when they signed it, <laughs> and they actually kind of make jokes on it, which are really, really funny. Um, maybe like in a video or, or another video or so, I'll show you guys off the poster and a couple of things I've been getting from Comic Con that are related to Dragon Ball, and you guys can you know, kind of have some fun checking out that kind of stuff, okay? But anyways, anyways, back to the video. Back to the video. You know, we're doing really, really good. We haven't lost near, you know, nearly any health right now. I don't think we actually have even under. 20, like, have we lost under 20,000? I don't think we have. Oh, and finally, our Blue Evolution Vegeta is transforming. So, you know, we have a ton of units that can transform. Obviously, UI Goku, but he has to have, you know, you have to have less than 50% of your health, which is not going to happen with this team. And I guess this boss rush, like, look at that. We probably only lost maybe 10,000 uh, HP. 
like that's nothing like you know you can take you can take that all day for me and I'm not gonna be worried about it so just for the benefit yeah cuz if I no no yeah I'm gonna put Goku in the middle because he's gonna take if he gets super attack he's not gonna take you know that much damage damage um, so let's actually go ahead and give Vegeta these right here We'll give Goku all these tech orbs, plus the rainbows. If you guys don't know Super Saiyan God Goku, this one, he lives for rainbow orbs. So if you have a chance to give him a lot of them, definitely do that. Um, we'll give Goku those. And then that should do a decent amount of damage on this part of the event. Um, the one thing I don't get about the Bardock story mode or story event is that uh, for some reason, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is the last Bardock you have to fight. He should be the second to last one since he is a free unit, and they should have made this one the last one. Like I don't, I don't get the the logic in doing that. But you know, I didn't make the game, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, and if also another thing you guys may not know about Super Saiyan God Goku is that he has a great chance uh, to stun, not stun, no, no, sorry, not stun, uh, seal the super attack. I'm pretty sure it's either great or or uh, or, or good. Um, but I have to check out, but he can definitely seal the super attack, so if you guys have him, put him on your, either your Realm of God team or or your Movie Heroes team, because, like, first off, Movie Heroes, definitely, because that's where he belongs. Um, but either one will definitely save you in a bind. And look at it, so we have two of our units transforming so far, Super Saiyan Glue, I said Glue. <laughs> Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta is our second one, and I love this man because he always criticals no matter what after he transforms. So it's like, <laughs> you have nothing to worry about, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and actually keep our UI Goku right there. We'll move, we'll move Vegeta off of rotation, and then, you know, he'll come back. He'll obviously be back the next, uh, the next part of the event. Um, and I, I actually normally would want to keep him with LR Vegeta just because of the type advantage with them together. I mean, Super Saiyan uh, God Vegeta gives Strength Key uh, 3, uh, or Strength Type 3 plus Key. <laughs> uh, uh, so he's a great, great unit to have if you're Strength Units, if you just want to do mono as well. Um, but also, when you have him with LR Vegito, or LR Vegito Blue, you know, that's like a match made in heaven, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna go a little bit faster. We're already about eight minutes into the video. Uh, might split it up into two because I know this is one of the longest boss rushes. Um, so we'll see how that goes though, okay? Let's go ahead and move Goku up there. We'll put Vegeta in the middle and well yeah, we're gonna knock off Vegeta off of rotation. So let's go ahead and give him these. We'll give uh, nope, Vegeta doesn't need all that. We're gonna give him that one. And Vegito, I was about to call him Bardock. <laughs> we'll give Vegito those, and we should be able to at least do three health bars worth of damage on him. We're definitely going to seal the super attack, and he's going to get hit really hard since we have the type advantage right now. I really like the God by name. I, they probably should have came up with a little bit of a different name, but it makes sense. Especially if you've seen the movie and you just looked at the animation. Um, <laughs> everyone jokes that that is pretty much the Rasengan. And, you know, I can't fault them for that, because it looks definitely like the Rasengan, just a red version. In fact, there was even a red version of the Rasengan in the games, and I believe in a couple of the Naruto movies. Uh, so, <laughs> I can definitely see the resemblance in there. But come on, you, there's only so, so many ways you can make an energy ball look, you know. And they just decided to go with a red one since he has God Key. Like, it, it makes sense. What, do you want him to have like a triangle in his hand? You know, if you had a triangle, that would be just looking stupid. To be honest with you. Alright, Vegito, how much are you going to do since you have the type of disadvantage right now? Uh, let's say... Okay, not... I, I was going to give him 500,000 just for the sake of it, but that's kind of low. 200,000, almost 300. It's understandable since he has the type of disadvantage. If only you had criticals, because then you could have finished him off. He has a little tiny bit of health left. What's the point of that? Like, that's so stupid. Okay, and just to see it, we're gonna give, we're gonna let Gogeta finish him off. And, you know, what the hell, we're just gonna do that. Doesn't really matter, we don't need it, but we'll still do it. Okay, there we go. I honestly, again, I just want to see Gogeta's attack as his Super Saiyan Blue, because it looks amazing. His Super Saiyan 1 looks cool too, but it's really long. It is really, really long. And here comes the Soul Punisher, or do you, do you guys call it Soul Punisher or Stardust Breaker? Let me know. I like to call it Soul Punisher. Because I mean, it punishes your soul. Like, what's the what's the Stardust Breaker? I mean, that's that's a JoJo arc, isn't it? Stardust? No, that's Stardust Crusade. You guys, you guys are gonna kill me because 
because I don't know the JoJo uh, season or arc names, but I'm pretty sure that's they're they're called Stardust Crusade. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but still, it sounds like a JoJo attack. All right, so this is where the long part of the event comes on. And this is actually maybe where I kind of split the video in half because Hurudagon, he just is an instant dodge magnet. I can't do anything about it unless I took like a, my LR, my LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, which I didn't want to put him on the team because he doesn't fit right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do this too. Yeah, we're going to take off Goku off of rotation. Uh, wait, wait, are we? No. Hmm, nah. Yeah, we're gonna actually take Vegeta off rotation, actually. Um, we're gonna give Goku that. And we're gonna give Vegeta. We're gonna give him that one. He doesn't need all those uh, uh, strength orbs. And if we get LR Vegeta next rotation, uh, he'll just be able to take off the. Or take down the whole event. Unless Vegeta does a super attack right now. Can you do a super attack? No, you're gonna dodge it, though, Hurudagon. Okay. Okay, you gotta be. Oh my god, Hurudagon. Okay, you almost had me. You're, you're not gonna dodge this. <laughs> okay, good, good. You never know, because like I can never tell exactly when he'll dodge. Like So with Vegeta's attack, he'll shoot those key blasts uh, for his super, and at any point in time, unless he gets hit by it, he'll dodge it. So like you, it's kind of hard to tell when he is, though. And he's not going to dodge this, either. So he should be dead after this attack. Yep, okay. So we didn't even need Vegeta. I kind of just moved him off rotation for no reason, I guess. But I'm glad I did, because... <laughs> I don't think Vegeta, uh, Blue Vegeta would have got off a super attack without the boost uh, Goku gave him. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. I want to get through this part really, really fast because it takes forever. And it's one of my most annoying events that I've ever taken on. Like, I hate actually ru uh, running the event normally because I still haven't awakened Harutagon or Tapion, I guess you can say. Uh, just because of how stupidly he, uh, he dodges everything. Like, I don't mind not actually... Not actually... Uh, Awakening Tape Beyond just because of that one simple fact. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and give uh, Vegeta those, and Goku, you can have these. I don't think you'll need them, especially since we're getting a uh, Dokkan attack off right now. Okay, so let's just see if I can hit them all. Sometimes I can't. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just go slow. Damn, I missed all three of the last ones. <laughs> okay, see? See, I had enough time to do it, but it just didn't do it. I don't know why. Like, I swear I was tapping it on time. I know sometimes this is like a delay, like when you touch the screen for some reason. I think even Nano has that trouble sometimes. Uh, but, hey, that was an epic fail on mine. Okay, so <laughs> you have to forgive me for that, guys. Um, you know what I remember? I was watching a Shady Penguin video uh, when he first got back into Dokkan, uh, and he had to start his new account and everything, he was summoning for all the new units, and he accidentally uh, called Vegito Gogeta. Uh, it, was the, it was the LR Goku and Vegeta that transformed into Vegito, but since the art is so similar, you know, he mixed it up. And there's only really, there's, there's really only one or two ways to tell the difference, um, is the stance they have and uh, for Vegito and Gogeta. And then um, they actually have their halos. They have their halos on when uh, they are the Gogeta physical LR Gogeta. So that's the only real two ways to get it. But if, these names are so similar, though, that it's honestly easy to make a mistake. And I remember people like putting in the comment section, "It's not Gogeta, it's Vegito." And then when he made another video, he actually, you know, recognized that he made that mistake and he said he did. <laughs> But he didn't honestly have to because it's, it's understandable. Like, their names are so freaking similar. Stop this dodging business, Rudigan. Let me hit you. Okay? You're, I mean, you're not going to do any damage to me, so otherwise, you just. You might as well let me finish this off right now. <sighs> Bro. <laughs> okay. Are you serious? Come on. Yo, he dodged all of my attacks. Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, he didn't have to. He didn't have to, you know, admit the mistake he made because I like the names mix up all the time, and I've been a fan of Dragon Ball for about 20 years, so it's like ugh, it's easy to make the mistake though. Um, we're gonna give Gogeta the front spot, and we're gonna give him all these physical. No, not physical. Sorry. No, those are the physical orbs. That was giving him tech orbs for some reason. Um, then we're gonna give Gogeta these, and damn, I was gonna give. I wish he can get all those uh, strength orders right there, but I can't. Oh well. Um, Gogeta should finish this off. If, no, not finish him off, unless we get an additional. Uh, but he should do 
Mm, bro, stop dodging. Please, hit him, hit him. Thank you. And I want another attack just to make up for the one who would have gone dodge. So give me two, one more addition after this. One more addition. Oh, come on, please, please. Oh, thank you for killing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So now the real hard part comes right now. Okay. And honestly, we're almost about 20 minutes into this video, so I'm probably going to cut the video at this point after we uh, beat Hirudagon, and then you guys will see part two of the boss rush. I don't want you guys to have to sit through like a 40, 40 minute video just to get through all the events, okay? I don't want to, I don't want to torture you guys like that, all right? <laughs> um, so we got both of our UI Gokus. This is what I don't like when you get the, when you take a friend unit and you get them both on the same rotation, and then even if you split them up, sometimes the, uh, the skills or the, uh, the links aren't the best, you know, so you had to make a decision to either keep both of them together or separate them, you know, and either way you're going to lose because the one, the links aren't that good if you separate them or you're not going to get any links at all of the third, of the third unit because they can't link together. And bro, if you, if, if you are an ultra instinct, in ultra instinct and you're able to react without, <laughs> you know, thinking, you should be able to be able to react to where he's going to dodge to and still hit him. Like, think about it. Like, like honestly, I don't think if we went up against if, if Goku went up against all Hurugan by himself with Ultra Instinct, there would be no way Hurugan would still be able to dodge every single thing. Even if he can, you know, do that smoke thing he does, um, he would still not be able to dodge everything. And Gogeta, if you hit this man with a critical, you will be my best friend for the rest of your life, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and move Blue Evolution right there, just so we don't get hit hard with uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. And we're gonna give Gogeta those. We'll give Vegeta that one. And oh, yeah, we're gonna give uh, Vegeta. I said Vegeta. Vegeta those. See, I mix up names. It's normal. I'm human. <laughs> Love this attack way, way more than the Super Saiyan one. Even though I did, I did again say that the Super Saiyan one looks good. I just like the one even more. Ooh, 1.4 can be... No, he's gonna dodge it. Okay. I kind of figured. But still, 1.4 for a critical, that's nice. That's nice. It makes the it makes the event go by so much faster with those criticals. Vegeta hit him again? Oh, okay. No, Vegeta technically. <laughs> See? This is why this part of the event, whether it's Boss Rush or his standalone one, is not fun at all. Like, they need to lower the dodge rate on this game. This man should not be able to dodge every single thing. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and move our god Goku up front. Oh, damn, I messed up. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Can we do that? I guess more of Goku. Yep, yeah, okay. With this Goku. They're both Goku. You know what I'm saying. Um, we're gonna give Goku these, because yeah, that's the only thing we can do. And we're gonna give UI Goku those. Please, for the love of God, finish him off. Please, for the love of God, finish him off, Goku. Either Goku. Just finish him off. Please, please, please. No, stop dodging, bro. All right, you, I, Goku, you got to do this, man. You got to do this. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> He's dodged every single attack on that rotation. Wow. Okay. This is exactly why this is the longest boss rush uh, mode, you know, level six, because you can't, you can't damage this guy for the life of you um, unless you really, really try. Okay, that's actually a pretty, a pretty good rotation right there. So we're gonna keep that. We have Gogeta those, and ah, oh, damn, I was gonna give him those strength boards, but we can't. So I'm gonna give Vegeta that one right there. Okay. At least I'm not dying. I mean, that's <laughs> that's the good thing about it. If I was dying and he was dodging everything, I'd be really, really mad. Okay, we got our own dodge. Good. Come on, Gogeta, hit him, hit him. <clears throat> Come on. Vegeta, can you do something, please? <laughs> please, bro. Yo, okay. This is getting ridiculous right now. I've gone through two full rotations without actually hitting this man. This is wild. Alright. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and give Vegeta those ones right there, those physical orbs. And um, we're going to give Vegito those ones right there. 
and we're gonna give Goku these ones just for the rainbow orbs. Doesn't really need them, but it's nice to give it to him. All right, Vegeta, you will be my best friend if you actually get a super off on this guy. He's slowly doing enough damage to me that it's gonna be annoying. Like not to the point where I'm obviously I'm not worried because I haven't got past three hundred thousand yet. Um, but this is getting annoying, bro. Oh, you let me do the you let me do a normal attack. One normal attack, I should say. All right, Vegito, you have your ultimate or ultra super, please. <laughs> oh my God. Goku? No, no. All right. So so far, out of two rotations, I don't know. Make that three. I've, out of three rotations, I've only gotten one normal attack off. I've had so many attacks where this guy could have been dead, but he is just living. He's living. I, I don't get it. But but whatever, whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna obviously gonna, we're gonna go until we're done with him. So I'm not gonna just quit the, <laughs> quit the event right now. That wouldn't be really any kind of video, would it? I wouldn't expect you guys to watch it either. All right. Please give me something. Give me something. No. All right. So that's one. Gogeta. Nope. That's two. Can I get an additional, please? Three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is getting to the point where it's it's almost laughable. Like, I'm laughing right now. That's how bad it is. And he's been getting this damage on me slowly but surely, and I really didn't want to even use any items, but, like, if I do... Once I continue the boss rush after this, obviously I'm going to cut it after this, like I said. Uh, but once I get on to the next part, I'm going to have to use an item just because he's been hitting me, you know, for a little bit every single time. Um, so... Let's see, can we do that? Uh, how about this? No, he gets more of uh, God Goku. Or not God Goku, Vegeta. Okay. So we need those. We get Vegeta these right here. I should have given those to LR Vegito, but it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, Ryan, no, Ryan. That works out. That works out. So we're going to give Vegito those. And there are so many super attacks that can go off right now. Just hit him. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, one. <laughs> oh, just one. Thank you. That's, that's okay. We're making we're making progress. Okay. Got another normal attack. That's good. Can Super Saiyan God Vegeta do some damage, please? Please? No. All right. That's all right. That's okay. We got Vegeta as our backup with his ultra super attack. Nope. Okay. Can we get an additional? Thank you. Nope. Okay. That's all right. So we're probably going to take down one health bar every two or three rotations. <laughs> God, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to do those right there. We're going to give Gogeta those. And we're going to give UI Goku those. See, the rotation doesn't even really matter because I'm not taking that much health damage. Uh... All my units link together in one way or the other, and you know I haven't made any progress yet. And neither has he. He hasn't got me down. Oh, he hasn't got me down past like two hundred fifty thousand. We got our own dodge. Thank you. Can you dodge again, please? Where it really matters. Thank you, Gogeta. You are the man. Okay, I, <laughs> I see it. I see it. His energy is almost down, so this is good. He won't be able to dodge for much longer. Okay. I just gotta wear him down, I guess. Oh god, okay. We're in there for the long haul, guys. That's what we're really in it for. <laughs> Alright, so Vegeta, if he hits, he should do 500. Nope. Okay, can we get another super? Nope. He just flat out even dodged it. I didn't even see the animation at that point. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. Tell us how you really feel, Hurudagon. But not say that. Don't say that, though. Mm, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this is like a little mini despair arc, but in like the form of an event. Okay. Because I could have killed this guy like 20 times over now. Uh. Okay, so we're going to do this, actually. Give him these. Give Gogeta these. And Vegito, you can have these right here. I don't have any physical units. Okay. Now's our chance. It's a Dokkan attack. You cannot dodge a Dokkan attack. 
do not. <laughs> if he does, I'm gonna be so mad, but I, you cannot dodge a Doken attack. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. We got this. He's gonna die right now. There's more than enough investment into my Super Saiyan God Goku that should be able to finish him off. And we have the type advantage, and he's at like 79% in the orb system with additionals and crits. So please kill this man. I'll kill this thing, please. <laughs> please, please, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you. With two million, a little more than two million damage done, we finished this guy off. It took us literally, well, 12 minutes to finish this dude off. That doesn't seem like a long time in the, you know, in the sense of doing a video or, do, or playing the event, but doing a video is actually really, really long. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're actually going to go ahead and stop here. I'm going to cut the video in half, and then in the next one, you guys are going to see part two, where I take on Vegeta, or Vegito, Goku Black, and Gogeta, LR Gogeta, okay? So, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed my little despair arc with Rudagon. That was super annoying, but it was also super fun. Um, but anyways, guys, if you haven't liked that video yet, go ahead and push that like button down there below. Hit that red subscribe button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, because there's going to be a ton more content coming to you guys. Um, and you know what? The next video next week, or not next week, tomorrow, when you guys see this video after that, is going to be another Legends video, so make sure you're on the lookout for that. Also, ring that bell on my account or my channel so you get all my notifications, guys. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoy all the rest of your day and I'll check y'all later.